Hey folks, the Panda Butcher here and welcome to my second video on Steel Ocean, the free to play MMO naval combat game. First video was a simple let's try where we uh, did a couple of battles in our default tier 1 ships here, the Japanese Minikaze and the German V170. Didn't do too bad in those battles, I didn't embarrass myself, but again, you can't really judge a game until you've put a wee bit of time into it and seen what it has to offer as a whole. Now one of the things this game has to offer over its major competitor World of Warships is in fact submarine battles. And I have my first submarine here. It looks like a giant turd floating in the water. <laughs> There's no getting around it. It's not pretty. But again, it's the first one I got. So we're going to jump in and see what it is like. Um, the only things I've done with it so far is I did the tutorial on it. And I then went and jumped into a quick battle. Because as you know, tutorials are static uh, situations that just give you an overview of controls. And you don't really get a sense of how the uh, vehicle would work unless you're actually against other players. Now I do have to say that in that quick battle I uh, jumped into, it turned out to be a quick battle because I think I was the second person to die in my team and I didn't get any hits because at the end of the day, practice makes perfect. So we'll just have to see how I go with this time around. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself. Did get some XP so we can get a bit of an upgrade. Uh, we could go for the uh, improved torpedo launcher or improved radio at the end of the day um, I'm going to go for the torps because that makes more sense let's purchase them fire them on and there we go increase torps on our new little sub here um, we're just going to jump into the battle here now but a thing that I did notice the last time right was it took nearly three minutes waiting in the matchmaking here before I jumped into a battle and I'm hoping hoping that that does not happen again but just in case it does, I'm just going to basically go over what I'm trying to achieve here. Um, one, I'm just trying to see how these submarines uh, add or take away from the combat in this game. And if it's something that World of Warships should look to introduce, you know, does it add an extra element? To be honest, if you're creating a game that's based on historical World War II naval combat, or at least if that's your theme, you should probably look about including submarines at some point. Because at the end of the day, submarines have been part of warfare since the American Civil War. And... You know that wasn't today or yesterday. That was the 1800s. So it's 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 been they've been about for a while. So it's kind of important to include them. Um, the other thing I'm looking to do is further comparisons between the two games. And I also want to jump into a night battle because I think that's uh, I know World Warships recently brought an update that uh, included a slightly darker map. I haven't had the chance to play it yet because uh, the map cycling in World Warships seems to be uh, kind of broken at the minute. So I'm not too sure. You know where to go or what or how to go about getting it uh, quicker again haven't played this one too much so haven't really had a chance to see how the maps cycle and how often certain maps prop prop up pop up i should say and on this line of free-to-play games and of this sort of nature of free-to-play games i do intend to get around to playing world of tanks and uh world of warplanes alongside um what's the other one there's one more Pretty sure there's one more, but anyway, uh, so that I can start comparing all these free-to-play games that have a similar theme. Compare World of Tanks to Armored Warfare and War Thunder's ground-based combat. We can compare War Thunder and World of Warplanes, and of course, World of Warships and Steel Ocean. And again, the matchmaking is proven to be quite difficult here, unfortunately. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. You know, it's not the... Uh, it's not the kind of thing you want to crop up when you're trying to record live. It always makes it more difficult. Um, the last time I was playing in the first battle of the submarines, the chat on the left hand side here, which I'm not too fond of because at the end of the day I really don't care what anyone else has to say. <laughs> um, not to be mean or cruel about it, but I mean, most of the chat that you get in these kind of games is kind of irritating. I love how if you play any of these sort of free to play games, you jump into a battle and you have these sort of armchair generals. These guys who go, you know, at the start of a match, oh, such and such follow me, such and such go here, such and such do this, such and such do that. And then they die first. And then they're like, oh, nobody's covering me. And they're like, well, at the end of the day, you ordered people you don't know to follow you. You charged into uh, an enemy fleet or an enemy tank battalion that were outnumbered you like six to one with no support. And then you blame everyone else for not supporting you. I think the real mistake there, mate, was you charging in uh, outnumbered. So, you know, sit down, shut up, and play the game. It's free, cost you no money, get over yourself. Um, 
I'm assuming these golden uh, rank symbols are player ranks, which is an interesting aspect. There's not too much of the player ranks thing available anywhere else. But anyway, here we are. This is our beautiful, beautiful submarine. And it's an Arctic map with some icebergs. Interesting. Um, okay, but basic sub controls, just so you know. Z uh, is to go down a depth, and Z again takes you down to your deepest level. Now, once you go below the surface, for obvious reasons, uh, your artillery no longer works. But you're also impervious to artillery fire. And for a large extent, you're impervious to other weapons, or you're at least increased chance of avoiding them. And on the deepest level, you're nearly impervious to everything except, like, really accurate depth charges. Um, the other thing worthy of note is, as if I can use control, see this blue bar here? It is your oxygen level. Now, once I go below the surface, you'll see that that starts to count down. And you have to obviously come back up to the top to resupply your oxygen level uh, before your crew dies. And if you're on the deepest level of submersion, your oxygen level drops quicker. Now, is this like this, is this a weather effect or just like a destroyer deploying smoke? It's too circular for it to be weather. Ow, 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 ow. Holy shit. I did not expect someone to be that fucking close. Need to dive, 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 dive. Quickly, quickly, quickly. That's better. Okay, let's head in this direction. I love the kind of... It's a shame that it's such an ugly graphic at the top to sort of show you where you're... Uh, where you're... let's... I don't know if I can reach him yet. We had four torps to release there. Um, hoping those guys stay still long enough so that my torps actually get over there. He's moving. No. The other guy isn't moving yet. Come on, torpedoes. Go a bit faster. Faster, 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 faster. Get in. That's what I like to see. Uh, he might come forward again. Ooh, there's this guy here. Combine torpedoes. torpedoes. Oh, we're avoiding them. We could go down another level, but I don't need to at the minute, I don't think. Another three seconds to reload. Um, might try and screw this guy. Let's see where that torque goes. He might be too far. Nope, looks good, looks good. And he's slowing down. There we go, that's two ships down. Got another guy over here. Gonna take a bit of time to get reloaded though. Um, and our oxygen's about 50%. <laughs> Don't need to reload. So we got a 10 or something over here. Not sure how uh, dying corpses affect. Um, the submarines, but you know, there's only one way to find out. We've only got the three enemies killed on their team so far. We've, we've lost one of our own. Seems to be a bit slow. Ooh, okay, here's a here's another potential victim. Do you have to keep an eye on that oxygen level? We only have like a minute, fifty seconds left of potential um, air left. Hoping that's good. Might be too far in front. Let's give another one slightly behind. That one seems better. That's a good one. And he did. He did. Torpedo went. Whoa, that was close. There's a bloody sub beside me. Uh oh. I need it. Ah, shit. Slow down, slow down. There we go. Hit your teammate. How about we reverse here? Um, so low on oxygen. Come on, come on. I'm not sure if uh, No, they don't. Hmm. Need to dive down a wee bit more. I'm not sure where this guy is. Gonna have to go to the surface here, folks. I'm running out of oxygen. We're going to the surface. Here's the X button, by the way. For those of you who don't know. 
X, please. Only got fucking 26 seconds left. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Need to somehow send a twerp this guy's way. Oh, he ducked down just in time. Oh, got him. Nice. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. Oxygen is slowly starting to replenish. Need to make sure we don't get absolutely screwed over here. We have this ship here. He's getting hammered by two of our allies. I'm going to get this deal a bit of a kill here. And boom, there's another one. Are you serious? What is going on? Ow! Ah, oh, he's dead now. Oh, damn it. They were two good torps. Should have been my kills. Ow. <laughs> Down we go. Getting a bit hammered here. Use what oxygen we have to uh, escape. There's a brogue or bogue over there. That's their aircraft carrier. And we do have a submarine down there. Not much else going on actually, except the, the ship in this direction that hit us. So we might go check that out if we can. We do have some damage, so we need to uh, F2 to open a repair kit. Uh, <laughs> let's repair the water tight because I think that is slightly more important. You know, being in a submarine and all that, I think it's pretty, pretty key to keep the water out. Uh, we have a minute of oxygen. Kind of wish we could see where the enemy is in that direction, so I know if it's safe to. Uh, if we head over this direction and increase, or increase, if we come back to the surface, we should be able to uh, use our enemy or allies here as cover. I think that rogue is a bit too far away for me to release torpedoes at him. Plus, there'd be a chance of hitting an ally. I'm going to have to raise to the surface here, because we are running out of oxygen, unfortunately. The enemy is in our capture point. I hope someone down at the bottom of the map there heads over. Air raid incoming. Please, not on me. Thank you very much. I would rather not have an air raid. How did I switch to my gun here? If I press 1... Does that change it? No. Maybe it does, I don't know. There is someone over there. You know what? Screw it. Let's let's head that way. Ah, there we go. Helgoland. Sorry, it's German. It's a tier three. Not sure what the triangular symbol is yet. I think it might be like a cruiser or something. Whoa, okay, there's a few people over here. I'm probably going to have to drop it pretty quickly, despite only have like a minute 30 off oxygen. Uh, let's use three. Three, please. I want to use three. Uh, is it F3? Smoke bomb, yes. Let's get some sh cover. Just so we can get a bit more oxygen. You know, but it's only take a minute now to fully resupply. Um, I think it might be worth using the uh, brown of the smoke to get up as much as possible. And then head down and head over at some of these guys over here. Hopefully Nick and Ola kill before the end of the match. Don't know which ones to go for. Uh, so probably should go for the ones that are heading towards our capture point. Okay, in range, but it'd be a tight shot. Let's go for that one, it's got a door near them. But we do have this Konigsberg right in front of us, heading right towards us. So we should be able to do something with it. Catch him off guard. Head to the left and turn right as he gets close. I'm liking this sub-combat, by the way. It's definitely uh, interesting. Need to time these right. There's one. That's way off. And we won. 
I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a lot better than my first soul battle, let's just say that. Victory. After winning a match, I would like a more dramatic victory screen. You know, other than that very bad font at the top of the screen. So we won the match, we got 1,185 experience and 22,000 credits and 59 free XP. We were included in combat in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ships with 2 confirmed kills and we should have got that third one. I don't care what anybody says. Um, the reason I have this VIP time, I think it was completing the submarine tutorial as awarded with like 100 gold and uh, like 24 hours uh, VIP time. And then they took me through a bloody tutorial on how to use gold to get silver, which was annoying. But there we go. That is the submarine combat. Let's see what we can research here. Um, quite a bit to go before we can get the next torpedo, which is 2,100 and something experience. And it costs 1,800 to get the next um, submarine. Although, if I'm going to go down the whole submarine route, I definitely would go down the German route. So we can get the U-boat, which is, uh, well, I suppose, how long? Let's just take a look at the tech tree here. Uh, port tech tree, the Germans. Uh, so it's technically that they're all U-boats. Um, but it just feels right. Is it, is it, that's all I can say. Um, of course, the Japanese do have a fair amount of subs and, you know, worthy subs. Good, uh, qual not good quality, but uh, ones that did a lot of harm during the war. Um, I've never known too much about the American submarine uh, stuff, but I mean, I suppose there have been enough films made about the bloody things. Um, but anyway, let's go back into the research screen. Um, yeah, we may as well grab that. And do we have enough XP for this? We do indeed. So that means we should hopefully be able to spot people sooner and keep people on our radars for longer. So we don't have to travel as far to find enemies and we don't have to... Uh, have a lot of guesswork in seeing if we're safe or if we're surrounded, which I think makes a big, big difference. So yeah, that was a nice introduction to the submarine combat in Steel Ocean. I like it. I think it does add a new element to the game. It's not too complicated in the sense that, you know, I was always, I was wondering how they were going to handle, the, you know, the submersion and the diving and coming up um, for air and stuff. And it, it, it's, it goes well, it's smooth and... It does provide an interesting gameplay element. I haven't been in a battle yet where I'm a surface ship and having to contend with submarines and how you combat them and what the depth charges are like, which I suppose is something I should look at in the next video or two. I can say that whilst my opinion still lies firmly with World of Warships as a more polished and well-rounded game, it is fair to point out that this is just a new release and it might never look as well but it does have something unique to offer at this moment in time, and it is probably well worth giving a try. So this has been Submarine Combat in Steel Ocean, and this has been the Panda Buncher. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.